I have a question real quick for him Go for regarding it. the fans. So, I mean, you started, you, you said this is your 18th season now with Blue Jackets. Yep. So you've kind of, I mean, you, you know, they've been around for, for 22 years now. So, but you've kind of been there since the beginning. Can you just talk about over the course of your 18 years with the Blue Jackets, how much just culturally it, it's changed in Ohio, it's just hockey and how it's grown and the fan base as well? And they brought it. They brought up a great point at Rick Nash's ceremony last Saturday, talking about you know how many people were involved in hockey before the Blue Jackets came. And you know there was there was a there was a group of hockey fans out there, obviously with the with the chill, and then you know the the checkers and the owls before that. But the fact that you know when we started. You know, is Columbus a hockey town? Well, Columbus isn't really a pro sports town, this, that, and the other. And as you see the arena and the businesses and what it's been able to build, and, you know, now we have Huntington Park, and now we have Lower.com Field, and the Blue Jackets were able to prove, you know, listen, you can have a sports franchise and the community will support it. So that's a huge change right there. And as I said before, the involvement of people in hockey, the fact that we see now somebody like a Sean Corrali or a, or a Jack Roslovic who were nurtured in this community and, you know, they're able to take it to the next level. And I'm, I get a little emotional when I think about this is I can't wait to see 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when hockey is going to continue to grow and the influence that central Ohio hockey is going to have in the whole hockey world. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's just, you know, those are, those are the big things that I, that I've seen as far as the, the change over the years, you know, over the, the, the past 18 years that you've got just so much going on because of that arena and because of that franchise. We've uh, mentioned many times before the local talent that just this roster alone has. Like right now we've got Sean Corrali, we've got Jack Raslovic, we've got Cole Sillinger, and, you know, when he's up, we've got Carson Meyer too, an OSU product. Yep. So it's yeah. huge that this team has four guys that are all locally grown, mm -hmm. all on their roster. It's hard to see sometimes because you're, we're so focused on, as we should, as fans, you know, we certainly should be focused on the success of the team. And all while those games are going on, there are these roots spreading throughout the community as far as spreading the, the gospel of hockey. Mm -hmm. as it were and you know i think that's the that's the biggest change that's the biggest influence and in, and in culture swing that i've seen since the team has gotten here is how how important this sport has become absolutely how much do you think rick nash had to do with that yeah and let's ask uh, about your experience with saturday night how with as packed as that barn was Biggest crowd we've had at Nationwide, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What was that like for you, just trying to do your job? It was amazing seeing, you know, because I remember this this kid, and I think he had been with us because I started in 03, so he had already been with us for a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but to see this young superstar evolve and and change – and and I know that that Ken Hitchcock touched on it during the ceremony, but you know Rick being willing to change his game to become mm -hmm. a, a complete player, you know, which really did help Team Canada, you know, win the gold. I mean, they had tons of talent. Don't get me wrong, but it's like you know Rick was an integral part of that, mm -hmm. and to see him now as the not the elder statesman. Um, but he is, you know, someone who has come back, you know, his departure the first time was tough, 
and mm. that's because he was that's because he was beloved in Columbus. He was our guy. He we was talked about that our last episode. Yeah, his whole legacy. And so you know, to have him come back, and to have him have such an influential position within the organization. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm I'm sure there are many many ex players who never got to touch the Stanley Cup as a player, but eventually were able to do it as a coach or as an executive or as a scout and things like that. So, you know, we all want to we all want to bring the cup to Columbus. Yes, and indeed. it would just be it, it, you know, and it would just be super special to have Rick Nash raise that cup as someone of influence. I just think that would be something that would be so special. And, you know, that's so many factors go into winning the cup. You've got to have luck. You've got to have, you know, pucks go your way and, and um, just a, a long list of other things as well. Got to have depth. So, got to have, yeah. So it's just, but, you know, to, you know, if Rick Nash could be a part of that, you know, we all wanted Rick Nash to bring us the cup when he played for us. And he still may very well help, help bring us the cup. Um, you know, with the decisions he's going to make. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see that. Um, he's a great person. Um, he's got a wonderful family. He's got, you know, three great kids. His oldest son is a, is a, is an almost, is a duplicate of him, by the way. I mean, he's a clone of him. I, I, he was, he was, it was a couple of games ago. He was sitting down in the stands with his, with his mom. And I just kind of looked at him. I was like, wow, you, Rick cannot deny that child. He, he looks, he looks just like him, but they're just, they're a great group of people. And, you know, it's, it's just a, he's a part of the great foundation of this organization. There's so many good people that work here and it's so good to have him in the building as an ambassador and as, as a great mind that I think is going to, you know, is going to help bring this, this organization success. Yeah. Cause I mean, he, we've said it ourselves he is mr blue jacket right so to be still in the organization whether that's player development you know like he is or whatever facet having players that love it here come back in any way is just one step in legitimacy right absolutely because you're seeing so many so many of the alums come back um i know that um you know, obviously Aaron Johnson is here. Derek Dorsett is back. Jean-Luc is back. Jody Shelley, um, mm-hmm. who is, I, I can't say enough about the value of, of Jody Shelley and what he brings, yes. not only to the, not only, not only to the broadcast, but to the organization itself. He is just the most accessible, the most knowledgeable, uh, the most gregarious and affable. He's, he's all of those things. Um, but it's, it's good to see, you know, people like Feder Tutin mm-hmm. are here in town. Frederick Modine, um, a oh, Stanley Cup Freddy's champion. Here. I didn't know he was um, Wow. Yeah, Freddie Freddy, Freddy is in town, actually. My daughter played against his daughter in lacrosse. That's awesome. Last, last spring um, in the playoffs. And so, you know, got to talk to him a little bit after the game. Again, just good people and you want to continue to spread that word to hockey people. It's like, look, this is a great place to, to settle down, to have a family. You've got the best of both worlds. You've got the metropolitan areas of Columbus, or if you want to go a little farther out, there's, you know, there's the more provincial and rural areas Mm -hmm. and there's just so many great things to do. And you're close to other places as well. So um, as more and more players continue to settle here, you know, it's just going to continue to build on that foundation of what a great area Columbus is for players uh, and for ex players. You know, if and and the more ex players that settle here, the more knowledge they're going to pass along to everybody, and it's just going to make more noise. And you know, hopefully, continue to 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 build the the reputation of Columbus as a you know as a quality place to be. 